Welcome back. We thought we were going to see a dramatic comeback in that game, but it didn't happen. Uruguay won four goals to two. And of course, uh, seeing that game, uh, you wouldn't know what to expect when uh, the lads from Nigeria, the Golden Eaglets, uh, step to the field against these guys, their, trick, their, their bag of tricks, and how good they are. Uh, some of the things that happen to be Nigeria's weaknesses happen to be their own strength. I think we should take this team seriously. But, uh, of course, uh, matches will be played today at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. So let's quickly take you through uh, the matches that will be played today. That's Friday. Um, of course, uh, quarterfinal matches. I mean, this one, Brazil and Mexico. Big games any day. Defending champions against pre-tournament favorites. Honduras uh, takes on Sweden. Uh, quickly talk about this game, Brazil-Mexico. Honduras, Sweden. All right, and Brazil, Mexico is going to be very tough. Uh, the Brazilians have been tipped along that and looks like the Eagles to actually clinch this one. But of course, the Mexican team, after losing that game against Nigeria, have come back very strongly yes, yes. with the winning games. And of yes. course, I'm, it's going to be very explosive. And then I, I might just uh, I think I'm looking at this Mexican team as a team that can actually get to the final of this tournament. And for the Honduras team against Sweden, it's good to know that uh, two teams, uh, this um, Swedish team also came from the group yes. Nigeria in group, uh, in group F. And of course, Honduras. Honduras, I think uh, for me, they are the weakest among the eight teams yeah. that are actually yeah. in this group. Yeah. They defeated Uzbekistan mm -hmm. in um, the second round and game. And of course, um, uh, looking at the game, I think uh, Sweden should get, um, uh, they, are, they should win that game and of course progress um, to the next round. Okay. Kunle, I know this is where your mind is. But of course, it must be said that uh, we are hoping to break the Uruguayan jinx. Yes, yes. We've beaten us twice uh, this year, yeah, first at the, at the FIFA Confederations Cup and at the under-20 level. But this is, a f it must be said, this is the first time both, uh, both teams are playing it's at the under-17 level. level. So tomorrow, uh, quarterfinal match, uh, Nigeria takes on Uruguay, Cup de Voix take on Argentina. It's Africa against South America. South uh, Power yeah. and pace against skill and tricks tricks and, and and one thing about the uh, the south american team is that um, their coaches oftentimes are very very tactical the way yeah uh, the they're very tactical very yeah. tactical very they, sound they, sound they they, they, they they might just adopt a kind of tactics tomorrow i just pray uh we are able to break that day just like you said mm -hmm. and you will get him are going to be very very tough but the uh the ivorians they play the ivorians in the, at the group stage and um, the Ivorians almost um, stole the show. They were leading at some point, and um, they got the yeah. equalizer uh, towards the end of the game. So that gave us an idea of how, on how we, we, are, we, we will be playing uh, against the Ivorians. The, the game that, that, that has been our biggest test so far uh, in this competition happened to be the game against Sweden. Sweden definitely. Uh, the defense was brutally exposed. All our weaknesses showed. I'm, I, I'm hoping we're going to get to see uh, that game, especially, Ooh. yes, especially the goals that we considered. Uh, against a side, I think it's not as... Yeah. Look, at, look at this, for instance. Um, you had seven guys behind the ball. Somehow, it got to the ball before. It got to the ball. I think um, um, Zaladin Belo and um, the captain of the side, um, talking about um, Mohamed Musa, have been... Uh, they've been more offensive, but defensive-wise, they've not really been done enough for me. I'm not going to talk about it. Subsequently. Kule, I'm not going to talk about this goal. I mean, because we already know that this side can score can score goals, goals but, but um, the, can the defense hold the offensive uh, uh, forays uh, of our opponents yeah i mean they've, been, they've improved in recent time i uh, even uh, the goalkeeper sunday daily at uh, some point in time was uh, take a look at this as well i mean it was beaten for pace and the goalkeeper, mean, yeah there was we still had five we still had five guys behind the ball just one swede was still able to deliver that cross. I, I, I think what the, the coaches, the technical crew should tell the guys is that um, anytime they lose the ball, they, they, must, should be come, they must balance. They should come back. Uh, the midfielders and the, and, and the attackers should come back and help it, the It's defense. not about being behind the ball. You know, be, I mean, numbers doesn't add up if you're not doing what you should be doing. Track your man. Get close to the opponent. To the opponent. You don't close all the space. Close them down. Don't give them time, time and room to operate. Ensure that, look, when the crosses come, a Nigerian will get to the ball before our opponent. Of Some course. of those little details are where the South Americans and the they Europeans... Explore. It, it, well, you, you could see the way the Uruguayan national team played us. Um, we, we dominated proceedings, we dictated, but at the end of the day, 
uh, we actually uh, ended up losing that game. And this, this have been the, uh, even at the under twenty level, it was it was also like that. We dominated uh, Carolina and the rest of them were uh, they were dominating. But at the end of the day, we still ended up losing uh, that guy. I hope this doesn't happen tomorrow uh, when we face them. The coach must be at uh, this tactical best tomorrow. I think it's not going to be all about the flair, the yeah. um, the dexterity that the team is going to exhibit. But of course, tactically, they have to be up and doing. Okay, uh, let's look at the journey so far. Uh, both teams uh, played four matches, and they are at this level. So let's see how uh, they got here. Nigeria defeated Mexico 6-1. Uh, next game, played a draw. Uh, draw uh, three. Again, Sweden. Sweden. Uh, the next game against Iraq. Won against Iraq, we won 5-0. And, and, of course, uh, the other one uh, against Iran, Iran. That, that, we also, uh, that we also won. And like, like you were saying, Uruguay as well, uh, their journey hasn't been that um, smooth. Uh, of so they played the draw with our African uh, neighbors, uh, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, yeah. They, I think they, they also uh, they defeated Italy in their last game, uh, two, two, one. Two, two one to progress uh, into the next round. It hasn't been so so smooth for them, but of course, I think um, the team has been uh, extremely tactical. Mm -hmm. they, they've been handling their games. You could see the way they uh, they, they, they they played their uh, second round game. Uh, the game we just saw now. They were. They just took their chances. They yeah. had chances and they took it. And defensively, though, towards the end of that game, uh, they they took their foot off the gas pedal and then two goals came in. But of course, you could see that they, were, they had already sealed it. That progressed. They were yeah. certain of progressing to the that, next. That's round. the journey so far. Um, if you think your boys can score, Uruguay can score as well. They defeated New Zealand seven goals and um, uh, played a draw uh, with our African neighbours, Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, well, defeated Italy two one. And of course, the game you just saw. Against Slovakia, it was 4 2. For Nigeria, you already know the results. We talked about them. Uh, against Mexico, it was 6 1. Uh, Sweden, 3 3. Uh, Iraq, uh, 5 0. And against Iran, it was 4 1. Let's leave the FIFA on the 17 World Cup and travel to Europe. Uh, a lot is going down this weekend uh, across the league. Uh, surprisingly, Roma, uh, best start ever. Yes, the term, to this year. Term wins, this yes, year they've been massive. Yeah, and so uh, we're going to be extraying some of those games that will be played. We're going to start with the English Premier League. Let's look at the big games uh, in Europe. Uh, later on, we're going to be listening to Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers. But uh, these are the uh, matches uh, that um, should interest you. Arsenal will take on uh, Liverpool and... Um, that, that's tomorrow at the Emirates. Newcastle will take on Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea to knock in uh, very close to the top. To the uh, top so they'll, they'll take on, uh, so in Spain, Barcelona and Espanyol, uh, two uh, city rivals. rivals. It's going to be very, very close. close. Rio Vallecano will take on Real Madrid. And of course, in France, uh, Paris Saint Germain, the French money bags, will take on Lorient. These are some, some of the uh, matches to uh, expect. Uh, and of course, the big one. The best goalkeeper in the French <laughs> league and the highest goal scorer in the French league, or maybe the best striker, will uh, go against himself. And that's Lille, that has our own Vincent Yama, Monaco, that has Radamel Valcal. In January, Dortmund will take on Stuttgart, uh, Offenheim will take on Bayern Munich. And of course, in Italy, uh, league leaders Torino will be away, I mean, league leaders Roma will be away Roma. to Torino. And of course, Yes, that this kind of a fixture, Parma Juventus. I mean, you would want to stay up. Uh, and I remember a, a point where Fabio Cannavaro and um, Lilian Turan were playing for Parma, and both players ended up uh, at Juventus, Juventus at one stage. Yeah. When they were in Parma, they said they were the most stingy defense. When they got to Juventus, the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll love to see this game uh, and see uh, how it's gonna how it's gonna go. Uh, so those are the games you need to uh, watch out for uh, in Europe uh, this weekend.